<laughs> How y'all doing tonight? Yeah. I'm just gonna sit here because I'm nervous. Is that okay with y'all? Yeah. First of all, before I get started, I want everybody to give a hand for themselves. The reason I say that is because you know what? In order for us to help someone else, we have to be strong within ourselves. And that's where it all starts at. In order to make a difference, it has to start with you. And also, we want to give thanks to the Crayful organization and everybody that put the situation together. Let's give a hand for them. All right. Similar to um, everyone, who, everyone who has come up here, you know, I have a situation that inspired me to write this poem. It's called Success of the Test. If you were here before in any event, I'm always going to perform this because it's dear to my heart. It's like um, this is the beginning of me. You know, the old me was done and the new me has begun. I was going through tough times, uh, nine dollar an hour job, no job, fired, expired, tired. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. But what I started doing was really just putting faith first and looking to God. And he showed me the sign through writing. I never knew I had this talent because I was too busy running around being lost in the world. But I finally found myself through God. And the, the, it's called Success of the Test, and here we go. Oh, hold on a second. My son is looking at me crazy. He's like, I told him he's going to have a job tonight. He's going to record me. I'm sorry, okay. guys. Hold on a second. Okay. Right. Got to give my son this moment. All right, give a hand up for yourselves again. All you got to do is hit it one time, Jay. Here we go. <clears throat> you strive to be the best, nothing less. But don't forget, before you can make your testimony, you have to pass the test. You have to pass the test. No need to stress, this ain't school, this is life. Get your mind right and keep your game tight. See, in life, it's not about A's and B's. It's about where you want to be. If you can only see yourself staying where you're at, hmm, I'm here to let you know that ain't where it's at. Know that if your mind can conceive it, you can achieve it. First you must think it and then create it. Now, you have to be dedicated and motivated. What is your inspiration? Inspiration is what pushes you through life's invisible obstacles. When life starts to rain on you, don't focus on the rear view. Simply turn on your wipes so you can have a clear view to figure out what you want to do who you want to become, where you want to live. Understand yourself inside and out. And always, always keep God in your life. See, God will do you right even when everything seems to be going wrong. It's just the beginning when you start to think it's the ending. You have to go through the struggle and pain in order for you to gain, but know that in due time, stay on your grind and you will shine. But don't forget, before you can make your testimony, you have to pass the test. Success is a test. Thank you, thank you. I have another one, I have another one. Okay, so we talked about the pain and the gain and all that. Um, as my story continued from last year now, I was let go at my $9 an hour job, my security job. Never thought I'd be at a $9 an hour job again. That was a long time ago, but it happened again, but I thank God for it. Then I got a $13 an hour job. And I thought that would be the one that would make me happy. But guess what? As of Monday, they let me go. But just like the story before, when God closes one door, that means a better one is opening up. So I done went through the struggles and the tests already, and I show, he showed me he's going to always have my Just tell him when you're ready. Turn right there. All right. Turn, turn the camera on. Right there. Right there. Right that, no, no, that one right there. Which one? With that the one? Uh, green, yellow, yeah, black, yeah. and red. Yeah. Yeah, that's her. I'm not going to put her on the spot, though. Wait. What's up, Rachel? <laughs> Hi, Rachel. <laughs> Everybody say what's up to Rachel. Hello, Rachel. We all family here. All right, that's what's up. <laughs> all right, G. Um, this is called The Spirit of Our Love. I, I just wrote this like two days ago, so I hadn't gotten it out of my mind. But <clears throat> this is... Uh, one of my inspirations in life, a very important one. The essence of your beauty is your intelligence. I have the utmost respect for you. I want to love you deeper, deeper than the deepest sea itself. I want to give you all your wants and exceed all your needs. Your worth is priceless. 
your style the nicest. Our verbal conversations plus physical stimulations equals a higher spiritual elevation. Let's examine each other's anatomy and neurology, creating strategies to enhance our physiology and psychology. I'm not here for a drive through I want to park my car right beside of you. <laughs> That's nasty. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> Paying the toll for eternity with eternal love. I'm in it for the long run, not the short term. Stand true to you like my dreams and goals. The Lord said, if you seek, you will find. Our spiritual partnership is divine. We were placed on earth since birth to create a new life through love. God is love and I love you as a child of God sent to show and open me more to life. This is the spirit of our love. Thank you. Stay away from cars. <laughs> yeah, if he's driving them, you stay away, guys. <laughs> he gonna park a car inside. <laughs> that boy gonna break <laughs> inside of you. Man, my goodness. <laughs> doop, doop. He gonna go. <laughs> all right now, all right now. Let me stop that little fool here. Let's give the man once again a round of applause for Kelly. We didn't know who was Kelly, but that's Kelly. <laughs> right, all right. Who do we have next? Oh, next we're going to have up Imprints. He's going to come up again and uh, give us another selection. Let's give it up for Imprints. <laughs> 